Ray Felton, boy, he traveled, no call. Wallace takes the jumper off the glass and hits. Randy Whitman, first thing he did, and now Serafin is going at it with Campy. Campy looked like he threw a, didn't, it wasn't a punch, but he threw a hand. It would be interesting to see how they, uh, how they judge this. Well, Scott Foster was quickly between them and has signaled for both teams to go to their respective benches. And I'm not sure anything has been called yet. And now the officials will get together. Foster with Kane Fitzgerald and the rookie Steve Anderson. Fans applauding Kevin Serafin for not backing down. He's a physical player, that's what he feels like is his greatest attribute. He likes to be physical. Yeah, but but uh, also along with that, showing some of the skills. Let's see what happened here. He was underneath the basket. Now Kevin gets pushed down and then he comes right back at Camby. Yeah, this, well, again, we're catching the tail end of these replays and not seeing what precipitated the foul. Or the contact, I should say. But we could, really couldn't tell what, what if anything, Marcus Camby did to, to Kevin Serafin to get him so mad. Or what Kevin did to Camby, because yeah. it looked like Camby was the one that pushed Kevin down. Now they're clearly looking at The replay here on Comcast Sportsnet, in fact. And they've given a flagrant two foul to Marcus Camby. Flagrant two means he's gone. Yeah, and a and a technical foul to Serafin, but the officials are taking a look at this. Well, they didn't call anything initially, right? That's correct. So they're going by what they're seeing on that. A flagrant penalty two is contact that's interpreted to be unnecessary and excessive. It's a personal and a team foul. A couple of free throws and the basketball and the offender is ejected. And at least for now, the call on Serafin is, is just an ordinary technical foul. We'll take another look at it and see if we can pick up the action prior to. Well, there they are, the top part of your screen. And Kevin's trying to box him out, but what happens is he gets him around the neck. And then Gamby doesn't like that. You can see the push off. Yeah. And there was some pretty good contact between the two, but no question that Camby shoved Serafin out of bounds. Yeah. And that's what got Kevin so irate. And apparently, that's why the officials have awarded a flagrant two, but they're checking it on our, our replay system. But once again, you see the right hand or forearm of Kevin actually get up and catch Camby around the face, and there's the push. It sends Kevin Serpin to the floor. Well, and, and then there was another attempt to I don't know if you'd say Camby was pushing but the hand comes up and makes motion the only thing I would say here Phil that 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 Kevin Serafin would in the future be better served is to is to quell that reaction that's probably what the officials are looking at 